Hello learners, welcome to Social Body. Paper is everywhere in schools, offices, newspapers and books. But how is it really made? Join me today as we go inside a paper mill to see the amazing process of paper production. Introduction Factories are important centers of production where raw materials are transformed into finished goods. One such factory is the paper mill where the paper we use in our daily life in produced. In the past people used palm leaves, birch bark or handmade sheets to write on but with the growth of education Printing and administration that demand for paper increased rapidly. To meet this demand, large paper mills were established. A paper mill is a place where raw materials like bamboo, wood, grass and waste paper are processed into pulp. Pressed, dried and cut into sheets. This process involves heavy machines and the hard work of many workers. Through this lesson, we will learn about the loading and unloading of bamboo, pulp making, pressing and drying, rolling and cutting working shapes and sailing paper this gives us a clear picture of how a factory functions and its importance in modern society now let's see loading and unloading of bamboo in earlier times bamboo was the main raw material of paper bamboo was cut from forests and brought to the paper mill by bullock carts lorries or trains at the factory gate workers unloaded the bamboo bundles they carried the bamboo into the ad where it was soaked in water to soften it this was the first stage of paper making Raw material Along with bamboo, other raw materials like wood, grass and waste paper are also used. Today, as bamboo is less available, paper mills depend more on wood pulp and recycled paper. The raw material is cleaned and cut into small pieces before processing. Making of pulp The raw material is soaked and boiled in big boilers with chemicals. This breaks it into a soft sticky substance called pulp. The pulp is the base material for paper production. Double pressing and drying. The pulp is spread on wide moving screens where excess water drains out. Thin wet sheets of paper are formed. These sheets pass through double pressing machines to remove water. Then they are dried in by passing over stream heated rollers. Rolling and cutting. The dried sheets are rolled into big reels. From these reels, the paper is cut into different sizes like notebooks, writing sheets, newspapers and packaging paper. Work in batches. Paper production is done in batches, not all at once. 
Each batch takes several hours to finish. Working hours and shifts. Paper mills work day and night in shifts. Workers are divided into groups, each working for 8 hours. Machines keep running 24 hours without stopping. Selling the paper. Finished paper is packed in bundles. It is then sent to markets, schools, offices and printing presses through traders. The paper mill earns profit by selling these products. Who owns the paper mill? Some mills are owned by private businessmen. Others are run by the government. Workers earn wages while the owners or government receive profits. Conclusion The paper mill shows how raw bamboo, wood and waste paper are transformed into finished paper through machines and human labor. It also highlights the hard work of workers, the importance of conserving natural resources and the role of the factories in our everyday life. Thus, the paper mill show us how raw materials like bamboo, wood and waste paper are transformed into sheets of paper through machines and human effort. It also reminds us about the hard work of workers, the importance of saving trees and how factories connect to our daily needs. So, whenever you use a notebook or newspaper, remember the long journey it has taken inside the paper mill. Thank you for watching this lesson on production in a factory, a paper mill. I hope you understand the process clearly. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. To social body, for more simple and clear explanations of your social studies lessons. See you in the next class. Until then, keep learning, keep growing.